Hello guys, this is Amol Khedkar. I welcome you to this video. This is a really fascinating and uh, interesting news that I heard right now. And this is happening in real time just now. Uh, Indian government has banned 59 Chinese apps including TikTok. And there are many other uh, things to cover in this video. So please don't forget to watch this video right till the end. And uh, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel because um, I'm going to tell you fast changing news on a daily basis. So please don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. So these apps have been banned over concerns on aspects relating to data security and safeguarding the privacy of 130 crore Indians. So uh, yeah, as you know, TikTok has been uh, uh, notorious in uh, spying and uh, Chinese government definitely uh, just does not allow any app to operate in China if it does not spy on other people. So that's like a well-known fact. And right now, Indian government has literally banned 59 mobile apps, including TikTok. And TikTok, uh, you know, is a very, very popular app in India. That's why this uh, news is really very important because literally there are many people in India who uh, earn a living from TikTok. So yeah, this is a very big blow for those people. Uh, so as you can see here, government bans 959, 59 mobile apps which are prejudicial to sovereignty and integrity of India, defense of India, security of state and public order. So this is like a security concern. That's why India has banned 59 Chinese apps. This is like a huge number. And um, this is really a, a, you know, a step in the right direction. That, that's what I think. Due to the ongoing tensions between India and China, the Indian government has banned 59 Chinese apps. These apps include TikTok, UC browser, share it among others. These are very popular apps, you know, you might have used many of them. The action has been taken by the Ministry of Information Technology, invoking its power under Section 69A of the Information Technology Act. The government has blocked 59 apps in view of the information available. They are engaged in activities which are prejudicial to sovereignty and integrity of India, defense of India, the security of the state and public order. So, uh, yeah, like direct attack on China. I mean, they are not even mincing any words here. They are literally saying that these apps are uh, threat to sovereignty and integrity of India and the defense of India. So uh, definitely this is a huge move in the India and China standoff that is happening right now. So um, I really wanted to get this uh, to you guys. These apps have been banned over concerns on aspects relating to data security and safeguarding the privacy of 130 crore Indians. These concerns also pose a threat to the sovereignty and security of our nation. In the past few months, the Minister of Information Technology has received many complaints from various sources, including several reports about the misuse of some mobile apps available on Android and iOS platforms. So many of these apps were even uh, accused of uh, copying the clipboard data. So the clipboard data, in the sense, if you don't know, it's like, you know, anything that you copy and it is stored to the clipboard, right? So these apps just copy that data and they send it to the Chinese government. So these apps are being used for stealing and surreptitiously transmitting users' data in an unauthorized manner to servers which have lo locations outside of India. You know, literally, this is just uh, out in the open. I mean, people have been accusing the Chinese government of doing something like this for a long, long time. And right now, officially, Indian government has just banned uh, uh, all the Chinese apps. When the data is compiled with its mining and profiling, it becomes a threat to national security. Definitely true, you know, like many Chinese phones are very popular in India, like uh, Vivo, Oppo, Xiaomi, uh, you know, these phones are literally just spying tools for the Chinese government. And that's why they are seeing that this poses a very big uh, national security threat. The Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center, Ministry of Home Affairs has also sent an exhaustive recommendation for blocking these malicious applications on Android and iOS platforms. The Computer Emergency Response Team, CERT India has also received many representations from citizens regarding the security of data and breach of privacy impacting upon public order issues. So list of the China 59 Chinese apps banned in India. Which are the 59 Chinese apps? TikTok, which is a very, very popular platform, which is used for like uh, uploading a shorter version of videos. So YouTube is mostly for longer videos, for, but TikTok is for like 30 seconds or one minute videos. And share it. You might have used share it. It is used for, you know, uh, uh, transmitting files uh, which are of uh, you know bigger size Kauai, UC browser UC browser also very popular Baidu map so Baidu is again you know uh, a Chinese company and uh, they have their own maps like Google Maps Xi'an Clash of Kings which is again a game do you battery saver hello likey you can make up my community CM browsers virus cleaner Apus browser Raumi Romvi uh, club factory news dog 
Beauty Plus, WeChat. WeChat is a very, very uh, big platform that is used all over China. You know, as uh, WhatsApp is used in India, WeChat is used in China. So government, Indian government has also banned WeChat. UC News, QQ Mail, Weibo, Xander, QQ Music, QQ News Feed, Big O Live, Selfie City, Mail Master, Parallel Space, My Video Call, Xiaomi, VSync, ES File Uploader, Viva Video, QU Video Inc., My2, Vigo Video, New Video Status, DU Recorder, Vault Hide, Cash Cleaner, DU App Studio, DU Cleaner, DU Browser, Hago Play with New Friends, Cam Scanner, Cam Scanner also you might have, many of you might have used it, Clean Master, Cheetah Mobile, Wonder Camera, Photo Wonder, QQ Player, VMeet, Sweet Selfie, Baidu Translate, VMeet, QQ International, QQ Security Center, QQ Launcher, U Video, V Fly Status Video, Mobile Legends, and DU Privacy. Yeah, this is a very, very big move that has, you know, that India has, uh, you know, taken since a long time now. And it was high time that uh, Indian government di really did something like this because TikTok has literally just taken the entire world by, it, the craze of TikTok is just very, very high. And uh, Chinese government really uses it for their own um, uh, stealing and spying purposes. And this has been widely reported uh, all over the world that China does something like this. So this is not something new. And I'm really glad that the Indian government has done something like this. So hats off to the Indian government for literally banning 59 Chinese apps at one go. So yeah, uh, this is uh, my analysis of this article. Uh, if you like my analysis, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.